now we see the problem based on uh, dissociation of the weak acid or weak base so calculate the amount of acetic acid present in one liter of its solution having alpha equal to one percent and k equal to 1.8 so dissociation constant of acid has been given how much uh, amount of acetic acid we require so we can write here so this is uh, cs3 cooh so it will undergo dissociation cs3 co uh, minus h plus so initial concentration is c and this will be your zero so initial so after the uh, final concentration will be this one will be uh, c into alpha oil alpha is the degree of dissociation this is called degree of dissociation means how much uh, the substance has been dissociated from this acid and this will be same c into alpha this will be c minus c into alpha so here this is the concentration of h plus ion so now we can write acid dissociation constant is equal to um, product of this concentration C into alpha into C into alpha. So we will get here C into 1 minus alpha. So on this multiplying C square alpha square is equal to C into 1 minus alpha. So this will cancel because C alpha square. Now one more thing is that the 1 minus alpha is almost equal to 1. Why? Because the value of alpha is very very small as compared to this one you can see from the k since k a is very very small is very small so definitely what happens alpha will be very small okay so this is a small so this is k1 by alpha is equal to 1 so we can write here here so ultimately we can write here c alpha square so this cancel this is equal to 1 so we can write here now put the value of dissociation constant of acid is given here 1.8 into 10 power minus 5 and here concentration c alpha square so we have to find concentration so concentration c where is here and alpha is given 1 percent 1 means 1 by 100 a square okay so again we know concentration will be 1.8 into 10 power minus 5 and this is square means 200 so, yeah, yeah, 10 to the power 4 10 to the power 4 so this will becomes how much uh, 0.1 molarity okay so more point one more active we can write here point one eight into sixty so this will convert into ten point eight gram per liter of acetic acid so this is the answer now we can write here acetic acid okay so this is the answer now second question you can see Uh, point one six gram of hydrazine is dissolved in water. This is added in and total volume made up to five hundred mm. So calculate the percentage of hydrazine that has uh, reacted with water in this solution. Kb has given. So a Kb here they are giving here. So again same equation N two H four and it is dissolved in water. So it will dissociate. Okay, so it become N two H five plus N H. So minus hydrazine is there. So H minus will be Release it out. So what is given H and this will be OH. Now this will be your OH minus hydroxide will come out from the water. So uh, initial concentration C, so this will be zero. Water is in excess amount, so we won't take. Then finally will be at equilibrium will be at equilibrium will be here. Uh, C into alpha, C into alpha, same C in minus uh, C into uh, C minus C into alpha. This is minus there C into alpha. The total minus C alpha. So this will be the left concentration. So Kb similarly you can find out here C alpha square 1 minus alpha uh, similarly same, same thing is there uh, Kb is uh, very very small very very small okay so we can write here 1 minus alpha is almost equal to 1 so we can write here C into alpha square so alpha will be how much it is divided by Kb by C Kb by C because we need to find alpha alpha is the percentage it will give you now how much c is there c we need to find out c is c of which one hydrazine c of hydrazine is given here uh, weight by molar mass so molar mass of hydrazine is 32 so uh, 2 nitrogen 14 plus uh, 14 plus uh, 14 to 2 uh, 28 plus 4 so this is 32 and divided by 500 ml so divided by 1000 so this will be called concentration so this is the concentration of which comes about 0 0.01 molarity so we can put here so kb will equal to so kb also given 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 so 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 and divide by 0 
0 1 and square root so on square root you are doing we will get 2 into 10 power minus 2 so alpha will be 0 0.02 or 2 percent so this is our answer nicotinic acid k is given h and i c is the representation so calculate its percentage dissociation in a solution which contains 0.1 mole of nicotinic acid per 2 liter of solution so 2 liter of solutions here per diya hua hai so we have to find out uh, solutions which percentage kitna dissociate kiya hoga so which contains 0.1 mole nicotinic acid let us see uh, first write equation so h and i c h and i c is the so it will also a weak acid so it will undergo dissociation it will form h plus n n i c minus okay the so same so like k will be your c alpha square so we can write here alpha is equal to root under k by c c we have to find out c is how much the so 0.1 mole nicotinic acid per 2 liter so 0.1 by 2 liter so this will be your 5 into 10 power minus 2 molarity so this is the concentration of nicotinic acid so we can put value 2 here and k is given so directly you just put this value k is 1.4 into 10 to the power 1 point this is 1.4 1 point 10 power minus 5 and divide by just put value 5 into 10 power minus 2 molarity so we'll get the answer 1.67 into 10 power minus 2 so alpha will be 1.67 percent so here we'll get this answer easily now cycling 2 into 10 power minus 12 is a weak acid and 4 into 10 power minus 4 moles of cycling is dissolved in 200 ml of water whose pH is this much and assuming no change in volume calculate the concentration of sac ions in the resulting solution at equilibrium so at equilibrium what will be the concentration of saccharide ions so we can see here so we can write here H sac, H sac is under dissociation, it will form H plus N sac minus. Okay, so, so we can see here why, uh, pH is given as pH means concentration of H plus is how much it will be your definitely 10 per minus 3 molarity. So, as you know, volume is not changing and uh, concentration of sacking also given. So, this is given here 4 into 10 per minus 4 mole. So, here concentration of H sac is. How much they have given 4 into 10 power minus 4 mole okay uh, it is dissolving 200 ml so 200 ml so we have to divide by 1000 so this will be 5 so this will come under 2 into 10 power minus 3 molarity so we know this one we know this one so we can put helium so then ka is equal to concentration of h plus concentration of sac and here concentration of h sac saccharine is given so we know every value has been given this given this given every value is given so we'll do here to so put this value all value put here so on putting value what will happen so we'll get the concentration of the second so we we'll put here on putting k is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 12 equal to h is 10 to the power minus 3 and sec we don't know and here we'll get the value is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 so on solving we will get here sac ion is nothing but 4 into 10 to the power minus minus 12 molarity so this is our answer now uh, question is acetyl salicyclic acid ionizes in water let me adjust properly mm -hmm. so water so it is going like this reaction so if two tablets of aspirin each of 0.32 gram is dissolved in water to produce 250 ml of solution calculate h plus oh and design solution so we have to calculate three value this this and this value in the solutions so two uh, tablets means the weight will be double in water and uh, we have to produce volume is 250 ml so we can see here uh, same thing first concentration of hc9 h7o4 will be how much 
so two tablets are eaten two and weight is given 32 gram and uh, molecular mass of the aspirin will be your 180 so this is the moles and volume they have given 250 so divide by 250 so on solving we will get here 0 0.14 molarity now this is the weak acid so it will undergo dissociation so alpha will be your k divided by c so k is k is given here so k is here 2.75 into 10 power minus 9 and this we know that this is how much uh, 0 0.014 so on solving we will get here 4.43 into 10 to the power minus 4 more by this is the uh, this alpha okay so now how much is h plus h plus will be c into alpha if you solve it c into alpha because uh, acid will undergo reaction this will go over uh, c9 h7 o minus and h plus and h plus is c alpha this is also c alpha so h plus c alpha c concentration is given so concentration is 0 0.14 into and alpha is this much 4.43 into 10 power minus 4 so answer will be 6.21 into 10 power minus 6 molarity similarly concentration of this one c9 h7 o4 will be same c into alpha same concentration 6.21 into 10 power 6 molarity so this is the concentration of this one this one and for this one oh how much oh will be there so right here oh so oh will be so here h plus concentration is this much so uh, this will be 10 power minus 14 and divide by 6.21 into 10 power minus 6 so we will get oh here 1.61 into 10 power minus 2 9 molarity this is the oh of the solutions so now next so ionization constant of the ammonium in water is 5.6 into 10 power minus 10 this one at 25 degrees centigrade okay the rate constant for the reaction of ammonium hydroxide is to form ammonium water at 25 degrees centigrade 3.4 into per 10 liter per mole per second so calculate the rate constant for proton transfer from water to water means proton is transferring pro from water to ammonia and this is the ac they are asking ac dissociation constant because uh, from water h plus will go to ammonia it will form oh minus h4 nh4 plus so let me just write equation so nh plus, plus oh for here they have purpose to write the previous one so here nh for 4 plus they have given nh 4 plus in water so we will get here reactions this is so this will form here nh4 oh and plus h plus okay so this is the ac dissociation constant k and their uh, value they have given here k is equal to 5.6 into 10 to the power minus 10 now next is this much uh, ammonia plus hydroxide they will form ammonia plus water so here right here nh4 plus oh minus so again this will form here ammonia plus water so ammonia plus water so we can find this so this is the here oh accepting one hydrogen this is giving one hydrogen so this will be your kb this will be your kf so here kb is how much 3.4 into 10 to the power 10 this is also given this is minus 10 and this is your 3.4 into 10 power 10 so now thing is that kf ammonia if ammonia is acting as a base if only acting as a base we can write here this one so reverse the action kf by kb okay um, now if ammonia is base then one ammonium is acid so for k ammonium acid we can write here k w by k okay k w or we know that k w equal to k a into k b we know this from this thing so k ammonium is equal to k w by k so we can write here so k ammonia base is there so for uh, base now this is acting as acid okay this acting as acid so for k ammonium no, this is base k ammonia base will be k w by k a so right here k w by k a to remove this one put this value here so now we can find 
we we have to find this one trade constant or proton transfer of water to bar mass k we have to find so kf will be k w into kv divided by k so this will value this is 10 per minus 14 into so kv is given here 3.4 into 10 to power 10 divided by 5.6 into 10 per minus 10 So on solving, we'll get here. This will be 20, 20 minus this one, so something value 3, 0.6.07 into 10 power 5. So this is our answer. Liquid ammonia ionizes to a slight extent. So at minus 50 degree centigrade, its ionization constant is this much. So this is given here. How many amide ions are present per centimeter of pure liquid ammonia? In pure liquid ammonia, how they are? So we'll write here. So ammonia is equal to yeah, it will be two H two NH three. So this will be here NH four plus NH two NH four plus NH two. So this is k equal to this is square root of n s two minus y because n s four concentration of this is equal to concentration of n s two at this temperature. So the concentration both will be equal to each other. So we can take both concentration together amide. So here concentration of amide will be how much it will be? This is square, not easily. Uh, this is square, okay. So this square is actually ionic product. Ionic product. So ionic product will be uh, so this into this. Actually, this will be your NH4 plus an NH2 minus. Okay, this is that. So if this is equal to this, we can put this value and we'll get this value. So NH2 minus equal to a square root of K, so and K is given 10 per minus 30, so we'll get here 10 per minus 15, and 10 per minus 15. Uh, this is what uh, molarity. So in one liter, we'll get 10 per minus 15 moles. So we can convert it to number also 10 per minus 15 into Avogadro number 6 into 10 per 23 amide molecules. So if you take one one mL, so we'll get here 10 per minus 15. Into six into ten power twenty three. So and one ml means again we have to multiply divide by three, multiply by three. So this bit total ten power 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 five ions. So this much ions means amide ions will be present in the solution in one ml. So determine the degree of dissociation of 0.05 ammonia at 25 degrees centigrade in solution of pH equal to 11. So here, so we can write here, um, um, so amide, so ammonia plus water. This will give you what NH4, OH, and it will undergo dissociation. So this will give you NH3, NH4 plus OH minus. So here concentration C in this case is zero. And this will be your C alpha, C alpha. This will be your C into one minus alpha. So now concentration of OH is how much? It will be your C into alpha. So we can say alpha will be your. So alpha will be your how much? So we we can write here. So alpha will be your here OH concentration divided by C, divided by C. Now one more thing. pH equal to eleven. This pOH will be how much? It will be three. Fourteen minus eleven. It will be. Three. So concentration of OH will be definitely 10 per minus 3. So we can put the value here. So we can put 10 per minus 3 divided by. Now C we have to find out. So C is given 0.05 molarity. So here it is 0.05 molarity given. If you divide it, it will become 2 into 10 per minus 2 or 2 percent. So this is our answer.